Lesson 14.7, inverses and the identity. So algebra first. What's the multiplicative inverse of A? So if we have A, the inverse is 1 over A, which we also write as A to the negative first. So what's the inverse of 2? Simple enough, 1 half. Inverse of 2 thirds, 3 halves. Inverse of 1 fifth, 5. Not really complicated stuff. The identity, again, multiplicative identity is 1. And another way to ask that question is 2 times 1 half, the original number times its inverse equals 1. Another way to state it, I should say. So what's the inverse of t? We'd write it just like that, t inverse x comma y. And if we are adding 5 and subtracting 4, we would just subtract 5 and add 4. That's it. This is fairly simple stuff. Another way to ask it is, how do we get back? To where we started. Or at least that's how I keep it straight. So now you look at some other transformations, rotations, and dilations. What's the inverse of this rotation of about O of 20 degrees? So if we had some point A and we rotated it 20 degrees, T prime, how would we get back? Well, not really that hard. We just go negative 20 degrees. If we went forward 20 degrees, got to go back 20 degrees. So that would be the inverse. And then dilation gets a tiny bit trickier. So we have some triangle here. And we dilate it one half about O. So it ends up getting down here and being half as big. That was horrible. That's not much better, but it'll have to do. So if this could, goes down to half, clearly, the inverse would just be to dilate it about O times 2. Big problem a lot of people get confused by. Negative? No negative? No negative. You don't have to worry about it. So what do we call the identity for mappings? We call it a capital I. And T dot T to the negative first equals I. R dot R negative 20 equals I. Just the way we notate it. Identity. We've gone right back and landed right on top of ourselves. That's it. Good luck.